What's up guys, welcome back to another video and the past notes are dropped for Destiny of X, as you can see. Alright, so as you can see, we're getting a new superhero, Polaris, it's tier 3. A new tier 4 for Dark Phoenix, Jean Grey. Uh, 3 new uniform for Cyclops, Beast, and Angel. And 3 Transcendence for Beast, Angel, and Bishop. Then we're getting 6 new artifacts. And the World Boss Legend, Dark Phoenix. <coughs> Alright, as you can see, Polaris, she's a blast character, superhero, mutant female. And the only way you can get her is a 20 biometrics daily, which this should be X genes, or the special daily growth support, or the uh, premium hero chest. But also, they're giving away for free in the future pass, so that's great for uh, free to play players. Alright, her leadership, forced to. Force of Destiny applies to mutant allies, increase all basic attack by 45%. Her passive, increase skill damage, bonus damage, decrease damage received by 25%. And she, this is a new one, so she has 10% chance to absorb energy damage. All basic attack increased by 5% upon absorption, stacks up to 30% for 10 seconds. On a 10 second cooldown. So that's pretty that's pretty new. <clears throat> Alright, her tier 2 passive applies to mutant allies, increases basic damage dealt to super villains, and decreased damage from super villains. So it's pretty nice. Alright, her first skill is a energy attack. Second skill, she has a stun, incapacitation, paralysis. Her third skill has Fracture, Paralysis, and Accumulation. Her fourth skill has Bleed, Stun, uh, All Damage Immunity. And her fifth skill has Burn, Snare, All Defense Down. She has a 20% Heal, Invincibility, and a uh, Attack Buff for 80% for one attack. So, <clears throat> she may be ABL Meta. If you don't have the storm uniform, so as you can see, she has a fracture, paralysis, stun, and snare. So snare and fracture and burn are in the uh, ABL ABX category. So we'll have to wait and see about that one. All right, the four new uniforms. We're getting Dark, Dark Phoenix Jean Grey, which she's staying at Universal. Alright, now the cost is going to be $1,500 because the full price is twenty five, because she's a native tier 2. Alright. Her uniform effect increases fire damage by 40%. Garbrek community decreases additional pierce damage taken by 60%. So, that's pretty dope. Alright, her tier 3 skill has burn, stun, snare, removes all buffs, silence, uh, decreases fire resistance by 40%, 100% uh, chance to penetrate, uh, invincibility, all that good stuff. Alright, her passive, she keeps the uh, revive, her tier 2 passive. Increase all resistance by 60%. Skill damage, bonus damage. Decrease damage received by 40%. Her first skill, burn. Decrease all, uh, all defense. Stun, snare. And uh, fire resistance down. Or her second skill has a nor eye frame. Where she has time freeze. Burn, incapacitation, paralysis, and uh, all damage immunity. Now her third skill, incapacitation, another fire resistance, accumulation, pure damage up to 65% of max HP. So, and she recovers 6% of max HP for one second. <clears throat> uh, recovery amount increased by 4%. Per 1% of total damage received. The recovery amount cannot exceed 100% of max HP. So, wow. Okay. 
It's pretty dope. Now, the fourth skill has burn, silence, paralysis. Her fifth skill, stun, 80% chance to penetrate, invincibility, and a frenzy buff. So she may still be a, a PvP meta. Maybe in World Balls too, but we'll have to see about that one. Next we have Cyclops, which he's a superhero again. And his uniform is 1,050 crystals. His uniform effect, uh, crit damage increased by 20% with chain hit. Uh, so he has... All defense down on his ultimate skill. All speed down, burn, snare. Guaranteed crit rate. 100% chance to penetrate with the increased damage by 90% for one attack. Alright. And his uh, leadership is going up to all allies, 45%. All basic attack and 30% all basic defense. His uh, passive ambient radiant. Radiation applies to all allies with 40% energy attack. So any energy attack characters are getting a major stat bump. <clears throat> in which he's going to be a... Seems like a better damage dealer also. Alright, his tier 2 passive gives him ignore dodge by 50%. Super armor, all defense. Skill damage, bonus damage. His first skill has fracture. Second skill has shock, stun, paralysis. Okay, maybe because of uh, Rogue, maybe in that uh, animation. All right, third skill has accumulation, one percent. Uh, fourth skill has bleed, decrease recovery rate by fifty percent, stun, snare. And his fifth skill has paralysis. He has a twenty-five percent heal, invincibility, and a frenzy buff. So maybe ABL also. Have to wait and see. All right, now we have Beast. He's standing in combat. Uniform is at a uh, thousand and fifty crystals. His uniform effect increases HP by forty percent to all allies, and the North Dodge rate by twenty five percent. His leadership staying the same at fifty percent physical attack, and crit damage increased by ten percent. His passive decreased chain hit damage by 15%. Decreased damage received from reflect effect by 50%. Reflect all attacks, super armor, and all de all defense. Okay, so as you as they said in the uh, video, he was a leader slash support. Uh, his tier two passive skill damage bonus damage decreased damage received by 35%. Excluding bosses, ignore enemy damage decreased by 15%. So, <clears throat> not timeline meta because every time they say PvP, everybody jumps to timeline. There is also AC, so <clears throat> looking more like a um, AC support. Okay, first skill has bleed, second skill paralysis with a 100% uh, chance of all damage immunity. Third skill has a stun, a barrier, up to 10 times for 8 seconds with uh, accumulation. Fourth skill has burn, all defense down, a 40% heal, and attack buff by 50% for 6 seconds on a 16 second cooldown. Uh, his fifth skill has bleed, decreased recovery rate, okay, fear, incapacitation, invincible, and another. Uh, increased damage attack both by 70%. Alright, now getting to Angel. Stand speed. Uniform is 1,050. Alright. Okay, he has a leadership tag also. Okay. Beast has a strong. And. Okay, alright. Cool. Alright, Angel. His uniform effect is. All allies dodge rate by 30%, 50% increased recovery rate. His passive is super armor, all defense. Tier 2 passive, crit rate increase, 
by 20%, dodge rate increased by 35%, skill damage, bonus damage. First skill has stun, second skill has fracture and paralysis. Third skill, which is cool, it says holy blade, so he has a sword, so that's pretty awesome. He has snare, paralysis, uh, all damage, immunity, and accumulation. Four skill, he has paralysis, a 25% heal, invincible, and then he has a uh, attack buff for 100%. And then his fifth skill has silence, incapacitation, and another heal, 35% with a frenzy buff. So he, he has two heals on the fourth and the fifth skill. So, like I said, just because they said PvP doesn't mean they're for timeline. We have AC also, so don't just jump to all he he's not going to be good for timeline, so that's not the case. Alright, Polaris is the new tier 3. And her tier 3 skill is called Polarity Prison, which is, has bleed, stun, silence, 80% chance to penetrate, invincible, and a frenzy buff. And we'll check out the skill right here. <clears throat> that looks pretty awesome. She's like gathering up all the metallic around. And make it into a big giant ball. That's pretty dope. Just like her dad, Magneto. Alright. Now Jean Grey's getting her tier 4. And it's called Absolute Mental Power. As you can see, it reflects 100% damage received up to 45% of max attack for 7 seconds. Accumulation to pure damage when attacking. So... Wow, once you hit that, it's, it's game over. Basically, that is crazy. We'll have to wait and see in PvP how this going to go down. Alright, now we're getting Transcendence for Beast, Angel, and Bishop. Which Bishop doesn't have a uniform yet. So, alright, Beast is called Hunter's Chase. It's just uh, the regular for all Transcendent characters. Angels is called Angels Advent, and Bishops is Tables Turn. So I'm gonna check it out real quick. Where Beast, <clears throat> he jumps in and he roars. He starts slamming and slashing. All right, and Angel, he's flying around throwing his uh, metallic wings, and he goes in for the dive. And then we have Bishop with his trusty gun. Alright, he slams down and then he just starts blasting. Then he just lets off an energy burst. Alright, now, new World Boss Legend Dark Phoenix and improvements in Conqueror System. So, we're getting our first Mutant World Boss Legend. Alright, and she's getting the CTP of Authority. So, alright. So, the Agents can unlock Dark Phoenix from difficulty one after clearing the unlock stages. And as you can see, the list is Mephisto, Ultron, and Gore. So, they're excluding no. So, if you could beat all of them up to five times, you get the unlocker. Now, if you're a Mega Whale and you have the crystal, you can unlock her first day. I'm not doing that because that's a lot of crystals. So, in three days, I can unlock uh, Dark Phoenix and make some content on that. Alright. Now, clear Dark Phoenix to acquire various rewards. Various effects such as potential search points and conquer level points can be acquired. Cosmic Cube Fragments can be acquired at a 100% rate from World Boss Legend difficulties. In which... We have a guaranteed CCF drop anyway from World Boss Legend. Uh, Alright, so the rewards we get are X-Men material, Tier 3 material, Common Q fragments. Uh, we're getting Titan Records as usual. Life Seed, Carbonadium, Clear Tickets. Take that out. Special Boss Booty, 
minus CTP of authority. And then if she's your world boss of the day, as the same, S of Dimension, Carbonadium, CCF, Life Seed, and Titan Records. If you have the shield support, you get CTP, Reforging Core. In every five stages of clear, you get a boss booty. Then stage 10 clear, you get the special icon, Chaos Bringer, which is pretty cool. All right, then the Conqueror effects have been added for Ultimate Thanos and all World Boss Legends. So only Thanos is getting the Conqueror effect. All right, now this says the basic damage increase effect that applies to each World Boss Legend can be enhanced by raising the Conqueror level of the respected World Boss, the target and conditions of the Conqueror effect on each World Boss are different. All Conqueror effects that apply to the same World Boss will be accumulated. And as you can see, for Gore, you get uh, level up rewards, so 50 EOD. And then if you can see, there's basic damage increase against Gore, and it goes up uh, every time. And then basic increase damage against Dark Phoenix is like 0.1% lower, but still it goes up. Acquire level up rewards every time your conquer level increases. Conquer effect is also enhanced. So, all right. So the conquer level all world bosses has been expanded from 100 to 200. Rewards for conquer level 101 to 200 have been added. The resist effect will be increased based on the conquer level for all ultimate bosses the basic damage dealt to specific bosses will be increased based on the level of the conqueror level of ultimate mode thanos and all world boss legends all right now the 2002 event token archive reward is a lunar thank you gift by collecting all the event tokens of 2022 including the the events that are being are to be held so we may get a, a luna icon for 2022 all right then we have the new artifacts now you can see polaris it's uh all right polarity control her passive inescapable magnetism now this for herself increases basic damage dealt to enemies with 50% HP or below 20%. <clears throat> Jean Grey. Phoenix Rising. For self, it increases basic damage dealt to superhero faction by 20%. And villains for 20%. So that's a PvP artifact. As we all know. Alright, Cyclops is uh, Crimson Charisma. And that's for his self. It increases damage uh, dealt to boss types by 20%. Okay, Beast is uh, Bestial Brain. Alright. And it activates when HP is below 50%. Recovers HP by 70%. An additional 0.3% total instinct increases H max HP by 50%. So, like I said... These are AC, maybe AC characters, not timeline characters. So, he gets a, a massive heal. All right, Angel, Wings of Life. It's pretty dope. All right, here's it for his cell where he has the Spider-Man Black Widow artifact. 20% chance to uh, dodge all attack. Bishops is fight for the future. And it's for his cell. And Nord dodge target. Well, ignore dodge rate by 20% and increases basic damage by 25%. Alright, the new future pass, like I said, we're getting Polaris in the normal. So you get 10 bios from her. Then the second one, you get her icon, the magnetic air. Alright, they need to change that 6 star mega rank up ticket. Well, for newer players, I guess, if they spend $10, they can get it. But they need to give us like uh, tier 2 mega advancement tickets again. Alright, and then the third one have Optic Blast, which is Cyclops. And the mega uniform, mega mythic ticket. 
All right, and the icons that you see got Polaris, Cyclops look dope with the Phoenix Fire uniform, and then you have Jean Grey's Dark Phoenix when you clear stage 10 of her World Boss Legend. Then you have Luna Snow in the Andromeda uniform. Then Angel is going to be Angel is dope. It is pretty doggone dope. So his is going to be in the token shot we get with the uh, CTP premium cars and all that. So y'all like angels. And we're getting the uniform collection. Where we're getting 300 Incron crystals. All right. And other than improvements, a feature to purchase free and gold purchase products at once from the store has been added. So, <clears throat> as you can see, the artifact chest. Get to purchase all for gold. All right. When reaching the maximum capacity of gold, additional gold acquired through various chests. From the store, inbox, and craft con contents will be sent to your inbox. <clears throat> the uniform acquisition method can be checked directly at the uniform, all uniforms. And the occasional issue of the main lobby screen animation being unstable has been fixed. And we have some game fixes in the game. So you can check that out yourself. So... Alright, then uniform collection. The icons are looking sick though. I like Angels the best. That, that's pretty dope. Alright. Like I said, that's great. We're getting Polaris for free for this future pass. So <clears throat> that's pretty that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I think the future pass should instead of like giving out uh tier three materials and awakening materials again, they should give out tier four materials. I'm just saying. Cause with Jane Gray, she is gonna eat that up. So Alright guys. That's gonna be it for the patch notes. Let me know what you think about this new update. I'm thinking it's, I think it's dope because me personally, I love mutants more than I like the Avengers or the other ones because that's what I grew up on. So I'm thinking it's pretty dope. It's pretty cool. I wish they could have brought in Havoc also. I was kind of disappointed in that one. But maybe he can come in for the mid-month with uh, Tier 4 Magneto. Maybe. I hope. But tell me what you guys think about the new uniforms, icons, and all that stuff. So I'm going to end this video on that note. Make sure you smash the like button. Leave your comments down in the box below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.